Okay, now we're going to show the second step after you get two layers of paper mache onto your the ball of your woodman here. You just use an X-Acto knife, or box cutter. You have to be real careful, don't cut yourself here, which is why I rest it against the table. And the hard part is getting the four layers of balloons to slice, especially at the base, down at the bottom. Once you get that, it's a lot easier. Because then you're, you're just going to work your way up. The top here. You, you, we're not going to go all the way around. We're just going to go to the kind of the top of the ball up here. Just enough. Know if you can see that or not. But it's like just enough that then you can carefully kind of pry it open and slide that out. Voila. And you get in here, try and get that last balloon off. Since we put glue on it, it's a little bit harder. There we go. So now you have the empty ball. And what we're going to do is slide it back on to our wood ball, although I scored into that just a little bit, so I'm going to take some fine sandpaper and I want to make sure that I didn't create any little burrs, so I'm going to sand over that just a little bit. I'm running low on these. If I had another one, I'd probably just grab a new one. Although the problem with that is that even though these are machine done, they could be just a little bit different diameters. So the fit on another one might be just a little bit different. Could even be too snug by chance. So feels pretty smooth. I think we're good. Okay, then we're just going to slide that right back onto the ball like that. Then we're going to hold it together. I'm not going to put a lot of pressure. I just want the seams to come back together. We're going to grab our wheat paste or Mod Podge and our ripped up paper towel again and our brush. And we are going to Take and close up that seam. We're going to paper mache back over that seam. Got a little bit, my brush had water in it, so it's a little almost too wet. We don't want to get too much moisture at this point. Because we don't want to distort our ball while it's drying with this patched seam. Probably going to be using maybe a dozen little pieces across that seam just to make sure we've got a good Should do it. Should do it right there. 
and then all we have to do is let that dry again and then we'll be able to go on to the next step.